Hey guys, I'm the Gutsy Gamer and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask 3D. In the last episode, we uh, put the uh, the Elder's son back to sleep and we learned the... What's the name of that song? We learned... The Goron Lullaby. Perfect. So... Now we have the a way, a means to get to Snowhead Temple. Look at all that smoke. Looks like he's working hard on her sword. Here's the thing. We're gonna go do the next dungeon. However, we'll be doing it without our sword, so we're gonna be relying on this big muscular guy right here to do all our work for us. Which is okay, it's fine. He's uh, perfectly capable. It's just, it's a small handicap, but I'm doing this so we can be able to get an uh, even better sword than the one that we're getting forged right now. But I'll talk more about that when it, when, when it comes down to it. So let's, uh, let's go to Snowhead, shall we? Alrighty, now where is Snowhead? I believe it should be in this direction. This way to Snowhead. Beware of the slippery valley trail and the giant falling snowballs. Yep, we're going the right way. Alrighty, we're gonna need to be doing some... Pretty much we're jumping ramps and stuff. There's a heart piece there, but I do not think we can get it yet. We'll be able to get it later on in the game, though. Oops, a little bit hard to control this guy, but perfect. All right, looks like we've made it to Snowhead. So this blizzard keeps us from getting all the way to the dungeon. Let me unlock this first. No, I don't want to save right now. All right, so we need we want to find out what it is that's blowing that. So let's turn on our lens of truth. Look at that. Since we just learned a song that could put things to sleep, let's go ahead and do do that, shall we? Got a nice view of the moon behind us too. I wonder why that big Goron is there just like, like what is the story behind that? Like, does this Goron know he killed Darmani? Wow. I wonder if he's friends with big Goron. I wonder if he can get a sword forge from him. <laughs> Alright, we'll get it carefully. Go across here. Oh god. Let's try not to fall to our death here. Oh god! We can we can smash those, yeah. We're good. You gotta be careful because this uses up magic. Alright, we're doing okay. Actually pretty easy to control with the the circle pad. Alright, here we are, snowhead. Snowhead Temple. I can see enemies already. We got them all. See, I even know a thing or two about fighting as a Goron, so we'll be fine even without a sword. Not as fast as Link, but still effective. And with the the way that they've modified him, he's he's faster than he was before. All right, so this is locked. We have no way to unfreeze that right now, so we'll go the only way we can. So this is considered a hard part of the game. I have to agree, it's it's a uh, pretty tricky. Let me go ahead and uh, set the fairy mask oh, over here. So we can check for fairies in the room because it's very important we have to collect all the fairies so we can get the reward after this. Alright, so... We gotta slide over here. Oh no, I'm gonna get frozen. Oh, I'm actually good. Cool. 
All right, let's change to Link really quick. Dispatch of these enemies. So we don't have... Actually, we can just turn back to Goron to punch him, because remember, we don't have a sword. All right, we got our first fairy. Goron Link is not good at jumping, though, so we're going to leave that to regular Link. We're going to be switching masks a lot. We're going to need uh, Link's... Uh, Goron Link's... Uh, Punches. Okay, there's a treasure chest here, but no way to uh, melt it. All right, let's go up these stairs. There's a bomb chew. Oh god! Oh god! That guy—he scared me. All right, let's uh. Yeah. Let's we can just, you know, take that. Look at all this money. Very nice. Alright, let's open our first treasure chest. It might be the map. Goron Link is still fat as fuck. <laughs> what was wrong with his eyes? That was really weird. Oh well. Yes, we know how a map works. Alright, there's another fairy right here. Cool. Second one. That's all we can do in that room for now. Alrighty. So we are in the main area of the dungeon. Has a lot of floors on it. Our goal is to get all the way to the top to the boss, which is right there. Let's see. I see a torch there, so. With our trusty Deku sticks, we should be able to melt them. Is that not good enough? Um, that's weird. Maybe arrows? Maybe they want us to do it. That's kind of weird. Let's see if this will help. Yeah, they want us to do it with arrows. Oh, well, not a big deal, but still. That means we... I guess I understand why they do it that way we I don't just like open these rooms but that doesn't make any sense. All right, let's uh move this. I I pretty much know this dungeon in and out as well. I should be, have no problem with it. I've played this game so many times in the past that we should be perfectly fine. Now we want to move this block all the way over here because we're going to use it as a foothold when we eventually get up to the upper level of this uh, room here. Which is not going to be announced, but it's going to be later, so... But might as well set it in place, that way we don't have to go backtracking. The goal is to save as much time as possible, because after the dungeon, there's very time-specific things I want to do, because I don't want to use another three-day cycle. It's better to just do it all in one run. Makes it nice and easy. And we got a treasure chest there. That should be a stray fairy. We can't reach it yet. However, we have set it up for ourselves, so we can later. There should be a key in here. Correct the mundo. Alright, so let's go back to the area where I unfroze the door. Right over here. Alright, so now that we have that key... Alright. It's the morning. Alright, so let's open this door. Okay, there's some enemies lurking around in this room. I, you, I can see you, man. You realize I can see you. Glass is see-through. You think you got anything on me? I'm big and I'm muscly and fat. I can't jump very much, but I'm strong. Come on. Alright, there's another treasure just there. That might be the map, to be honest. Come on. Let's open this guy up. Should be the compass. Don't know if I already said that, said that or not, but... Yeah. It's the compass! It's in the pots. Magic. 
Alrighty, is there anything I'm forgetting in this room? Not at the moment. I'm gonna need to come back to this later so I can push the block. But I'm guessing I'll be able to get up there to where that torch is later anyway, so. I think we should throw a bomb up there or something. Let me, uh, let me get some bombs. Because there might be like a fairy or something over there. Yeah, it's a fairy over there. Perfect. Alright, back to Goron Link. Actually, never mind. Let's uh let's go back to regular link for a second, because we need to bomb this. Oh god. Spikes! You gotta be careful. Oh, okay. So, in this room, we need our bow and arrow. So we can destroy all these little ice, ice pillars or whatever. I don't know if we require two or three, because I might be being impatient. Let's check. Yeah, just two. I'm being impatient. We're wasting arrows for no reason. Alright, last one. Perfect. So, let's hop onto these. So, this is an invisible wall right here. Should be a fairy in here. Perfect. Fourth one. Huh. I thought we collected more than that, but whatever. So let's uh, throw that boulder. Ooh, it's in here. Another key. Alright. Anything else that we can get in here? Is there fairies in here? No, no fairies in here. Okay, we're, we're good. We should be good. Pretty sure one of the fairies comes after we destroy everything here. Alrighty. So this switch right here, so it can only be pressed when you do the Goron Pound. What do you think he- What? You think you can push down on something just, just this big just by standing on top of it? You're gonna have to find some way to pound it down. Yes, Tattle, I was just explaining that. So... So let's take off the mask, because Goron Link unfortunately can't jump over here. Alrighty. Pretty sure there's a... F well, I know there's a fairy in here for sure. I know exactly where it is. I was about to forget it too. So when you look up there... See, you can't see that. So with the fairy mask and the bow, it'll come right to you. Found a stray fairy, this is your fifth one. Alright, so... Let me pound here, because this is a puzzle right here. We need to... Okay, this one's timed, so... Very quickly. Quickly now, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Turn the Goron Link. Found this guy. Very quickly, climb on here. And we solved the puzzle. Just in time, too. Alright, next room. Alright, we're gonna need to turn the Goron Link. And very carefully, get over this ledge here.
Perfect. Alright, we can't unfreeze that just yet either. So, these are tricky too. This is a, a, a tutorial one, basically. There's this uh, net here to prevent us from falling to our, you know, to other floors. So basically what we want to do is very carefully get onto the other side. Now for the other instances where we're going to see stuff like this, it's not going to have that net there, so we have to be very careful. Alright. So, before we make the jump over this ledge, let's enter this room. Perfect. So we're, we're back in this room that we were in from the very beginning. So, let's uh, become regular Link. There are invisible platforms here. This will lead us to another ferry. So very carefully just hop from platform to platform. Oh god! And I that was a, I was afraid of this happening. I wanna take my anger out on you too. So now I have to get all the way back there. I wonder if, No, I I need fire arrows to get to uh, that's that because that switch will get us back up, so we're gonna have to make our way back up there, which is a drag, but we you know that's part of the the difficulty of this dungeon. So, we should be able to... Yeah, we have to go to this red door over here. Quickly now. Since we're in a dungeon, I'm not gonna just end the episode in 15 minutes like I normally do. I'm gonna go a little bit longer, maybe 20, even 30 minutes, because this is a dungeon, you know, it's interesting. Yada yada. I say that because I'm looking at the timer and I don't really want to end the episode. I'm, maybe I can make this a 2 who knows. Wait, I think we have to do that puzzle again. Yeah, we do. Alright, go on link time. Oh my god, they're all like huddled there. Go, go! Eh. Don't let them get you! No, 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 no! Alright, that's that. Alright, once again, get over this bridge. Alright, very carefully get through here. Go back through here again. Very carefully this time. We're not gonna fall. I'm gonna be extra careful this time. Extra careful. So hop. 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 Let's uh, move the camera. Hop. 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 There we go. And there's our next fairy. I believe we can just make this by jumping. And we're good. Alright, so now we're gonna put our Goron mask back on and go through this bridge. Let's see, there should be a ferry up there too. Yeah, it looks like we have to wait until we get up higher. Oh, didn't we knew that. So we gotta keep Keep that engraved in your memory, because later on, when we get help higher, there's going to be an instance where we're going to have to get that. So, yeah. Very important to note. This might be a mini-boss, I think. Fortunately, we don't need our sword for this, we just need arrows. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> that's way scarier than the original. So, this guy, we just shoot arrows at him. 
Pretty easy so far. Right now, he's going batshit crazy. So we want to hit the one that's not a ghost. It's pretty easy to see. You see, like, there's a bunch that are look like ghosts. They're all running everywhere, but this one always stays in one spot. Very simple. Just make sure not to get too close to him, because I'm pretty sure he'll disappear. Super easy mini boss. Wow, that is awesome! Alright, so with that, we get our new item. And we got our fire arrows. And now we can we can melt on all that ice. So let's equip these right away. Perfect. Alright guys, uh, I think I will end the episode here. 20 minutes seems like a perfect time. Um, thanks guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want more videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you in the next episode. Later guys.